welcome everyone. My name is Rich. Playing more Skyrim today. I'm pumped. I'm recording later than I should be, but I really, really, really want to play more Skyrim. So today we're doing Tending the Flame. I have done this quest at some point before on a different a different playthrough. I am sick of her and need to go get a new companion. I'm just too lazy to do it. You know what I mean? Has got to be. So that thing does 43 damage. I've got to have some better swords or something. We'll just we'll use this weapon instead. I don't necessarily want to go back. I still got a lot of room left. So, where are we fast traveling to, my friends? Here. I have not actually discovered this place. That is kind of surprising. Nothing is super close to it. That's on the other side of the mountain. I mean, this is... I feel like this is a better straight shot to it, at least. Without running into uh, attempting to climb over the mountain, which everyone knows is my uh, my personal favorite. Hmm. The reason I'm pumped to play this game is not only do we have this quest to do, but after... After going through a whole list of side quests, I found more side quests that I have not done. Which is exciting because it's hard to find a lot that I haven't. So, there's actually two in particular that kind of, they're not the same quest, but one guy gives you the, one of them and then the assistant gives you the other one or something. I don't know if they tie into each other, like you have to do one before you do the other one, but we'll find out. So that's at least two I'm definitely sure that I haven't done besides this one. So I'm kind of pumped for that. And then beyond that, I'm sure there's more. I'm starting to go through a list of um, of the different quests in each city that I've kind of missed. Because there's a lot of little side quests in pretty much every city has quests. I mean, they all have the the repeatable quests where... For example, I went to uh, I went to the bartender and I was like, "Does anyone have any work or something?" And it said, "Oh yeah, the Yarl's men dropped off these bounties for you to go do." It's like, "Oh, you just go do them and get some gold." That's kind of the uh, the anti, I guess, fail state in this game where it's like, if you have nothing, just go do these easy quests and you'll will get gold and whatever you need. I don't know how you could really fail at a game like this. I guess on a harder difficulty. Stuff stuff could happen, right? We're 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 just climbing the mountain, which is exactly what I you know didn't want to do. And there's a wow! It's been a long time since we've just fought a dragon out in the random. Oh no! There's a bear. Cave bear. Uh, I can make lots of leather with that. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're, you know, climbing the mountain. Right up and over the mountain. I don't really want to fight the dragon. I don't care about... Fighting a dragon, but he's gonna piss me off, isn't he? Right. Mm, we gotta go around. So, in this quest, we're finding King Olaf's verse. Whoa. A pretty hmm. 
Decently large area. Okay. I gotcha. Almost to 52. We're so close. Ugh. I might just dismiss her. Whoa. I have not found one of those bad boys in a long time. Who's there? Or, you know what? Haven't fought these guys either. I'm good right now, though. Definitely reach a point in the game I remember where I was just like, Really? I'm so sick. Fighting these idiots. Mostly because they're pushover now. It's not bothering me at all. That means we leveled up. No. One more. We found the ghost. Oh, she's getting hit with all the traps. That's awesome. Spiders. Oh, he's gonna foos Rodas, huh? That was loud in my ears, friend. Where are you at? Hmm. I missed something. I must have missed something. There's got to be a lever back here somewhere. Besides that one. Where is this, where is the guy who's Fus on us right now, huh? Real annoying, bro. You got to cut that out. I was always taught to avoid these types of ruins. I think I see why now. Oh, here we go. Oh. Interesting. Who's there? Coin purse. A dang air button, man. It's killing me. Like, I don't know if the button itself is broken. I don't, I don't see how something could be in there to make it stick. I may have wore the spring out, I guess. But I haven't used this controller that much. There you are. Does not want to die, though. Yeah. I'm just going to press this. It, it doesn't pop back up. So it makes it seem like I'm holding the A button in. It just sticks. Who's there? That's a nice little trap that we might have to spring on ourselves. So that way is blocked. That way is also not a way unless it's through. Go ahead and do it. Drop me. Hmm. 
Mm. Oh, there we go. Come on, game. You don't need to be you don't need to be doing twenty frames. What the hell? This uh this healing spell is starting to drive me crazy as well. Let's do this. Yeah. Just that noise of it was driving me nuts, man. I mean, I could shoot him with arrows, which is what I'm going to do. everything damn it Not too bad, not too bad. There's the ghost guy again. Really? Can I just... Get out of my way. Uh, this door is magically sealed. Okay. How in the hell are we supposed to deal with that, eh? Hit her. Sweet sword, eh? Stamina potion. Those are absolutely useless. So it came from here. Get out of my way. Ooh, special doors. Oh, well, I love a challenge, yeah. Oh, okay. Damn it. Come on. Oh, my God. Come on. No. I love it. Pick an pick an expert lock just to go pick a master lock. That was pretty close for that attempt. Nope. Training my eyes so I don't lose track of the spot. Just a bunch of crap that I don't really need that much. Oh, there we go. Level up. Come on, get. You 
I don't feel bad for her. I was actually going to try to shout at her, but... I, I know I don't have Fusro Da, um... Equipped, I have the dragon one, I think. It wouldn't have done anything to her. Might have knocked her back. Figure might as well kill this guy now so you don't have to deal with him later. I know I haven't done this quest before, but I swear I've gone through this same dungeon before. Oh no, because I have I have done this quest, but I don't mean like like I I swear I've done this same dungeon in a different quest is, is what I'm trying to say. I haven't done this I haven't done this quest on this character ever. A long time ago I did the uh, I joined the Bard's College and did this quest. But when I say a long time ago, I mean like when the game came out. I wish I'd started a timer. But hey, we're cruising. Oh, don't get dizzy, guys. Look away. Look away. Okay. Wow. Really, guys? Killing me here. Duel! Yeah. Need to have Fusro. At least I know I have the dragon one, though. Is there really no shortcut out of here? Or is that magically sealed door not magically sealed anymore? I mean, it could be a door sealed by magic, but no. Well, yeah, no, of course it's not because the ghost is now gone. The ghost is at rest. Oh, yeah, here he is. He's going to go open that door for us, boss. Oh. Maybe not. Is this are we going to do some kind of a quest? You like those arrows, honey? I don't want to go do this if this is part of a a quest of some kind. I only want to do this if this is the way out. And I do not think it's the way out. Uh, we can't go back the way we came, because here we jump down the water, so we don't have a choice but to go this way, friends. I can't see. Oh, zoom. So, howling at the moon, bud. And howling at the moon. Yay. Let's go. Let's go. You don't ever backtrack. In most Elder Scrolls dungeons, like 99%, there's a way out. Is this part of the quest? I mean, we're following the. It is time. Okay. Can I just start? 
I'll say, can I start working on this now instead of waiting? How many are behind me? Not a ton. Oh, nice kill. Nice quick kill. Kill this guy for sure. Uh, these guys don't want to die easy either. This weapon stun locks them though, so you know that that's always. This, I mean, this is probably one of the best. I mean, maybe arguably the best sword in the game. Just nothing really messes with you if you have this sword. Oh, Dragon Words. It's been so long, dude. Give it to me. The quickening, the power. It didn't make the cool noise. Is that because I turned the, the sound effects volume down? Probably why. What, what what is that? It's a coin purse. Why can't I with the coin purse? I'm really confused. So I almost skipped whatever the hell this is that I'm doing. Probably gonna glitch the quest by killing everything. Who did the Fusro dot? There's nobody alive to do it. Literally. Oh, whoever's in here, maybe. Here. Insolent bat, die! I want. I don't need that. His treasury key. That's probably cool. I better have something good. Now she shows up. Fantastic. Oh. So they wanted you to. Ooh, ooh, oh, I don't need that. I can make that. I don't. Why do I need to? I'm just weighing myself down with all this crap I don't need. I don't need anything in this game. At all. Let's get out of here. Let's wrap it up. Because I know we still have a little bit left in this quest to do before we... it's over like I said I don't know how long I've been recording because I did not start okay not too bad we can't be at more than 30 minutes at the most back to solitude What? I, there's no enemies nearby. I knew I heard something. Stupid dragon. Where's he at? 
Where is he at? Come on. I tried to shout. Why can't I shout at him? I did the shout, man. The hell button is the shout, then. No. There we go. The bear? Well, I'm happy the bear resisted the shout. Where's there a bear? Is there a bear under the dragon? Okay, yeah. I don't even want to loot your stupid dragon bones, because I don't, I don't even want that crap. I want to fast travel, bro. Not even gonna absorb your soul. That disconnect disrespect, son. Come on. Put our swords away, hon. We're not. You're the one cast those illusions. Impressive. Cast illusions? What are you talking about? Oh, I still got it. Lady Atia says my voice is second only to hers, but she's selling it short. Load screens have never been that bad in this game, which is good. Actually covers a wide range. Ah, you've returned. Poetry. I have to admit, I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's take a look at this. You sent me, and you didn't even know if it's. Oh no! This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. <laughs> She's just walking around over there. Bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Ola festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer. Our subjugator, the one-eyed dealing betrayer. demon and dragon killing king. He's a bad Your dude. Legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? Found him asleep. He made a deal. Why do I want to proceed? That seems weird. A dragon in human form, or a human in okay, a dragon in human. Form. No, because we definitely got a dragon under Dragon's Reach. We caught one ourselves. So. Nah. All right. I'm, I'm writing that in. I'm not sure about the court, but I find that much more probable than Olaf capturing a dragon. <laughs> Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but Asgir seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? A 
Well, that sounds good. I, I'm not sure the court will believe that Olaf had wizard powers, but <laughs> we shall see. It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. Yay. Let's do it. I think he reads those to him and you actually get to hope the court likes You actually get to sit there while they while he reads them. I'm happy I did this video, but But I am getting tired. I definitely do not have another uh, another one in me, that's for sure. Thane Bryling, at your service. I don't know. Okay, good. Is she here? Is he here? What is he doing? I do hope the court likes the... I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. Okay, let's go, bud. No time like the present. Where's the uh, queen at, hmm? From the castle, you used to just be able to see solitude over the mountains. Any day now, That's queen exactly lady. What I'd imagined. <coughs> Not now. Oh, there she is. Jarl. Ah, Viarmo. I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man. No fire or... Don't even think about it. ...battle in tale. Olaf captured a fast-sleeping dragon, a mighty feat which the meek would not fail. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protector. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Because solitude would not soon bend knee. Olaf would hurt them while his status accrued. He sacked Winterhold, his only true ally, and used magic bold to blame Solitude. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of Solitude commit to the fire. In Solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. 
The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be moderately rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. Unbelievable! You have done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Soon, soon. These things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I okay. need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is Not back on! Lazy milk drinker. You finish studying the import from Black Marsh? Indeed, I have, sir. Yeah, we've been going for maybe 40 minutes now. I don't know for sure. You can adopt up to two children if you're a home. You own a home with room for them to stay in. But I don't want any kids in this game. I hate the kids in this game. So if I actually have to go do something for this next part of the quest, I'm gonna cut the video. If it's just the the festival starts, then I'm I will we'll keep going, but. You're new here, right? Welcome to the Bard's College. It's like a, a musical museum. Great. Looks like you'll be one of us soon. Oh, okay, good. Gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. Be careful. Wow, I mean, this isn't that bad. <laughs> Hey guys, the festival's back on. Cool, let's go do it. Like, like what? Cool, we're gonna do it. Oh wow, they were quick. You're the reason we get to have this. Thank you. So nice to get this break from my cleaning duties. Yeah. Thank you so much. The festival has really increased my sales. Yeah. Cool. Come on. Light the fire. Let's go stand right here. Wait for everybody to come over here. I will literally wait an hour if we have to. Yay! Welcome, people of solitude. We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. With the lighting of the effigy, he becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Wow. Please welcome our newest Bard. I'm a Bard. I didn't even have to play an instrument or sing or do anything. I just had to go get a verse from a tomb filled with zombies. Like you. Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged awesome. member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. Ooh, maybe we'll do some of those. Elisif has declared the burning Quests. of King Olaf should Elisif. become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you. Elisif, give me the... Yeah. Oh, 12 hundo. I mean, I have like a ridiculous amount, I'm sure, but... I have 52 though. You do need a lot to buy the houses in this game, don't you? I don't even care about that at the moment. But... Well, guys, that... That was that quest. Tending the flames. That's all I have for right now, though. I will see you next time, friends. Don't forget to tune in. Check out everything else I do. Subscribe if you have not. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.